Hey, how's it going everybody? Haseeb here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm not going to implement anything. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an explanation of a snapshot that we've been creating or we have already created it. We're just working on a different version of it. That's all. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of what we have done so far. I'm not going to share any snapshot link or anything. I want you to implement it to understand the platform better. So this is a complete digital agency snapshot, as you can see from the flow diagram title. It all starts from here, right? So this is the GHL CRM system or just basically a GHL sub account, which is the digital agency go high level sub account, right? We know we can connect Facebook lead forms with uh, GHL directly. So whenever the form is submitted, the data comes to the system directly. While if you are running PPC or Facebook social ads where there's a landing page, you can create the landing page or the funnel for that advertisement inside the GoHigh Level system. So you're using forms and surveys from GoHigh Level whenever the traffic or whenever the lead submits the data, the data will be coming to the CRM. And also there's Facebook message, Instagram message, GMB message. These can be integrated with the system directly so no funnels in between now the next step is after it comes to the system it will be added to the lead pipeline so basically this is a lead pipeline so here's where we nurture the leads we talk to the leads we book an appointment we do all sorts of things before the lead comes to a contract and becomes a client so when he becomes a client we bring him to the client pipeline that's all so after the lead comes to the system, we add it to the new lead pipeline and there's automatic follow-ups to book a call basically. So if in all digital agencies, this is the convention that if there's a new lead or if there's a warm lead or a hot prospect, you need to have a call with the prospect or the lead, right? So this is what's happening here. So the follow-ups will contain uh, a calendar link to book a call with the agency owner or the person who's doing sales, right? So if the lead does not book a call and just replies, he will be brought to the hot lead where somebody has to manually go and talk, like uh, talk to the lead, what he wants, kind of like that. So if the lead books a call from any of these stages, the lead or the prospect will be brought to book a call or booked call stage, right? So here, two things are gonna happen, right? So the first thing that's gonna happen is the prospect will be added to the confirmation campaign to a workflow. Basically the workflow will be sending confirmation messages and also receiving uh, automated appointment reminders. So these are the two things that are gonna happen and all these are gonna happen manually, right? So this is the only stage here in these uh, in these four where people need to go and manually check what's the status of this. So then moving on, prospect has booked call. So prospect is in this stage. If the prospect somehow cancels or does a no show, I mean does not show up, the prospect is gonna be brought here and here depending on the case automatically. And here there will be follow-ups to reschedule. And if the lead books a call and the call goes well, we need to bring him to proposal call manually by the guy who was doing the call. Like most of the cases, it's the agency owner. So the agency owner or the guy who is doing sales is going to manually drag the tile to proposal call. Or maybe like sometimes there's two things that are going to happen, right? Like if after the first call, the prospect is convinced he's going to take one of the services, then it's gonna be proposal call, or you can just send them to like contract sent after the first thing, which is a rare case, right? So if after the first call, the prospect is brought here, which means there's another call needed. So another call will be navigated from this stage. So there will be different confirmation uh, appointment reminders going out for the proposal call. So after the lead has been brought here the lead will be brought automatically in a different stage which will be follow up on proposal so this will be sending out like automated 
appointment reminders, confirmation, and all sorts of stuff. And then the lead comes to contract sent manually after the proposal call by the salesperson or the agency owner. And then uh, the contract sent stage will have a, another automation which will basically send, send out the contract, you know. So the contract sent stage will basically hold an automation which will send this prospect a link to the contract, you know. And then after the link has been opened and uh, the contract has been accepted, it can be manually brought to closed, which basically ends the journey of a prospect in the sales pipeline. So this is the sales pipeline and this is what it's all about. There's one more case I forgot to mention here. So if in any of these stages, the lead does not uh, reply or whatever, like the lead gets cold, the lead will be brought to here. This is an automated process. This will be brought here. And I, I want you guys to figure out how you can do it from the automations, but just a heads up, it's pretty simple. So the use case will be the lead hasn't replied to any of the follow-ups or anything, right? Hasn't picked up a call, hasn't replied to emails or texts. After a certain amount of time, we want the prospect to end up here, which will be a long-term nurture campaign. And if the lead says, I'm not interested or stop or do anything like that, the lead will be turned to DND, which is do not disturb, right? So there are two more cases that I just described that will happen in the back end automatically. So again, after ending up in closed, the lead or the prospect will turn to a client who will be moved to a different pipeline, not any stage, right? So this is a this is a client pipeline, pretty small. You can add more stages, but for now, I think this will be uh, enough and standard. So payment done. After the prospect has done payment, he has become a client and he will automatically receive the onboarding questionnaire survey, which will just contain uh, a few fields like your name, email, company name address and blah 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 what type of service what are the competitors and all sorts of questions like that after this survey uh, or this questionnaire has been submitted the client will be moved automatically to another stage called onboarding needed right so onboarding needed here a team member of the corresponding service will go and gather all the details from the questionnaire and just complete the onboarding process and after that he can manually move the client to active clients now everything's done the campaign has started whether it's seo whether it's ads whether it's just a sas go high level service then we can add the client and here it gets a bit confusing but right so the client stays in active clients and what we have done is we have created a duplicate tile in another stage in the same pipeline called ask for Google or Facebook review. So here's a duplication, right? The client at the same time is in active clients and in ask for review, Google review, like or Facebook review stage. If you want, you can do like a, another pipeline, which will just have this data about ask for Google or Facebook review, like the review reputation management stuff. But we have done it like in the same stage, right? which will be also taken care of automatically. And if at some point the client wants to pause their services, we can have them in on hold. And we what we have done is we have created another page which says canceled. We don't want them to end up here, but life is hard, you know. So if at some point the client wants to cancel, he needs to be manually moved to cancels, right? So this is what the digital agency snapshot is all about. It's like 90% or 95% automated based on the work that we have done in this. The only place we have to manually intervene is if somebody ends up in hot lead, like if somebody replies from new lead and then manually navigate this stage. Like uh, if there was a call, then the next steps have to be determined by the agency owner or the sales guy. And then after the contract has been accepted, somebody from the team needs to make it closed client, closed deal. And this stage where uh, after onboarding, somebody can make sure that he has taken to the active client stage. Everything else is pretty much 100% automated. So this is what we have created.
oh also one thing i haven't shared so these are the funnels we are gonna uh, we are creating or we have created already into the snapshot which is uh the sq funnels so the squeeze funnels which is uh, a part of this stage right so the website funnels where we are basically doing our promotion or advertisement these are the squeeze funnels and then there's appointment booking funnels which comes in handy in this stage so we have a funnel for uh, the calendar you know where people can go and book the appointment the third one is the payment funnels after contract so the payment funnel what it contains is the two-step order forms for people to pay the money and after that there's another funnel stage in the same funnel which will be holding this uh, holding this onboarding questionnaire right so there's two parts in that payment funnel and then onboarding forms and pages like here we have we have combined these two stages into one you can also have like keep them separate like if you want to deploy them on different subdomains you can completely do it so this is what i want to discuss in this video just the flow if you guys understood this you can definitely implement this this is not that hard i hope this helps you understand how a snapshot like how you can brainstorm through creating a snapshot for uh digital agencies and other like local services and stuff and that's it for this video i will see you in the next one cheers mm -hmm.